Hello everybody, I'm Sniping is Fun, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing all of you my 2014 E3 predictions for Nintendo. Now, E3 is next week, Nintendo's E3 uh, digital event and whatnot, their E3 events are, I believe, on Tuesday, the 9th, something like that. Well, um, I'm going to be doing my predictions right here, right now. I know it's pretty gosh darn close, and a lot of people probably have already done their predictions already. Um, but I've been busy lately, and I'm just now finding some time to put some stuff together, and, you know, more videos will be coming soon and whatnot. Um, but yeah, as for E3 Test 14 predictions uh, for Nintendo, there's some stuff we already know is going to be there. We know the new Zelda is going to be there, regardless of what it is. It could be this Unbound King rumor we're hearing, the Shard of Nightmare rumor we're hearing, something totally completely different, because those two could probably be both false. I don't know. We're going to be seeing the next uh, new Zelda game on Wii U. Um, that's that's a guarantee already. Um, we're going to see more on games we already know about, like Hyrule Warriors, Bayonetta 2, uh, X, which is already guaranteed, as far as I heard. More on Smash Bros. on 3DS and Wii U, and whatever other games we basically know about. Um, so we're pretty much guaranteed to see more information on those when Bayonetta 2 is going to come out, at least in America and all that. Same thing with X, same thing with Hyrule Warriors and so on and so forth, and as well as Smash Brothers, which of course is going to have its tournament and so on and so forth. Um, I do think we're going to be seeing more on uh, Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. What that's necessarily going to be is more likely going to be like a mix of the styles, like turn-based RPG, but they can pull a fighter out on this, which I wouldn't really want that, but I think it would be kind of cool because then we actually get to see more Fire Emblem characters in a fighting game type of environment. Um, I'd rather, like most people want to see it be a strategy RPG, but uh, it could be a fighter for all we know. Uh, we're probably going to see more on Yarn Yoshi, and probably going to see if that w when that's going to come out. Um, we're going to see more on, I'm assuming since they showed it earlier, we're going to probably see more on Omega, Ruby, and this, you know, the Generation 3 and all that remakes on the 3DS. Uh, we're probably going to see more on those. Phoenix Wright, and Professor Layton maybe. Um, so basically, stuff that we know about, I'm assuming we're going to see more of. It's already been guaranteed we're going to see X, it's already been guaranteed we're going to be seeing Zelda. Pretty much we're going to see more Hyrule Warriors, we're going to definitely be seeing more Smash Brothers, Newcomer Stages, the Tournament, blah 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 blah. Um, and that's about that, but as for, as for stuff we don't know about, that's a little hard to really predict. Um, there are supposedly how much this E3 is being hyped up for Nintendo. There's going to be some surprises, at least the very least some surprises, um, of which I do think will pertain, pertain to some Nintendo franchises being announced. Uh, 3DS and Wii U. There is a rumor that there's this, this 3DS game that's going to be announced that's going to have like a half hour long, you know, announcement or something that's going to have this big announcement. And there are rumors that it's a Metroid game. Another game it could potentially be is, I think, Advance Wars. I think by now we're pro. I mean, Advance Wars really isn't the type of game they would give a big, you know, that long of an introduction to. Metroid would be. But Advance Wars is a fairly big franchise in the Nintendo front where I do think if they announced it, that would be the big 3DS game. Because we've basically seen a lot of the other Nintendo franchises. The only other one I could basically see would maybe a Golden Sun. So yeah, probably Advance Wars or Golden Sun on top of that Metroid rumor, you know, for 3DS. Um, as for Wii U franchises, like Nintendo franchise we can see, um, F-Zero, Star Fox, Wave Race, 10A Snowboarding, I do think one of those could potentially be there. Yeah, it's kind of futile because I've been asking for F-Zero for I don't know how long now at E3, I think like four years. And I keep getting shot down. Um, I'm waiting for that one day because I want to play that next F Zero, and I do think it's coming closer than we think because next year, 2015, is the 25th anniversary of the F Zero franchise, 
And regardless of what Miyamoto says, oh, people don't really want to play it. You know, pe I didn't know people wanted to play it. An anniversary is a big, big way to bring it back. So I think between this year's E3 and next year's E3, we're gonna probably hear something about an F Zero. Hopefully on Wii U, but they might do, they might pull a 3DS on us. Um, so one of those franchises, I think. Uh, um, I'm trying to think what else would they announce. Like Nintendo franchises, if we, we 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 might even see a new Battalion Wars. I don't know. Like when it comes to Nintendo franchises, what they're going to announce, it's uncertain. We know we know of Zelda. We know of a rumored Metroid, and eventually one time or another, like down the line, we'll see an Advance Wars, Golden Sun, F Zero, Star Fox, and whatnot. What system they pertain to, I have no clue. But we're gonna see. I my predictions, we're gonna see at least a few other Nintendo franchises get announced besides the ones we know about. Um, another rumor I just remembered that was actually uh, just recently brought up was the Pokémon Fighters. You know, like the Pokémon fighting game that's been rumored to be coming out by Namco that's kind of like a cross of it with Tekken. Um, that actually sounds like it could be a very fun idea because then, just like I said how like if Shimano has a cross player and what was actually a fighting game, you see more fire and characters playable in a fighting atmosphere than what you normally see in Smash Bros. The same thing can pertain to Pokemon. Like, we don't see a lot of Pokemon playable. It's always like Jigglypuff and Pikachu and Blah blah blah, Lucario, you know, so like that. We never really even see Blaziken or Sceptile or Genesect or Zoroar or <sighs> Mewtwo again, probably, or you know, like Deoxys or any of that stuff. So this is like if the Pokemon Pokemon Fighters is actually a true rumor, we're going to have it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to potentially see more Pokemon playable in the fighting game atmosphere. Um, but that's it really about rumors, like like the the Mario Maker, uh, I think that sounds fun, but it seems like it, like it seems like a small thing, but it's like it sounds fun, but it's like I'm not sure. It would be fun. I would say making your own Mario stages would be really gosh darn fun, but uh, I'm not really sure about that. I think it would be pretty cool though, and if it, if that is true, that would be something interesting. Um, and there's a rumor of like supposedly like Castlevania might be coming out on the 3DS. That'd be kind of cool, like Lord, uh, like uh, what's it called, Symphony Night Two type of thing. Like another like a Castlevania. I think that'd be kind of cool. Although I do think we should see Castlevania on the Wii U. We already seen one on the 3DS. And then there's a rumor of like a remake of Dragon Quest Seven on the 3DS. That would be pretty cool too. So, you know, as for rumors, there's a lot of rumored in, like, you know, Nintendo games, there's also rumored third-party games. Uh, like, we have rumor, like, there is other rumors of, like, a Conserver or Star Fox, we could be rumors, specifically Star Fox, but something like that. Um, and then rumored, like, Castlevania or Dragon Quest or something like that. So, you know, in the land of rumors, um, what may be true, what may be false, false, um, I don't really know. As for my own predictions, like I said, um, I'm I'm predicting we'll see a few more Nintendo franchises, F Zero, Advance Wars, Golden Sun, Star Fox, something like that, like that people do want. Um, and it's a mystery ones, like you know, those franchises that people might not be not really be expecting. Maybe they'll bring back an NES franchise like Marasami Castle. Maybe they'll do something with like a Pro Wrestling. Maybe they'll do a, a Star Tropics or. Um, like Ice Climbers or something like that. They don't make an NES franchise. Nintendo is really random at times, and what they bring back could be could be interesting. Um, as pertaining to the Smash Brothers um, thing, uh, of course we're going to see more stuff announced. Like last year's E3, they announced three characters: Mega Man, Villager, and the Wii Trainer. Um, I'm assuming, let's say hypothetically, we're going to get three characters again this year. Um, a few choices I could potentially see, Shell from Xenoblade Chronicles, I do think since they're showing off Mark X, there, this might be the perfect time to show him off, regardless if he's in that game or not, because I think he's pretty likely a pretty good character choice for Smash Brothers. Um, Palutena or Magnus or Medusa, someone from Kid Icarus might be pretty 
pretty good choice to reveal at this point if there is anyone. Um, I would have said a, a, a fire of a newcomer, but we did just get Ike recently, so that might not be a big choice. I would say maybe Crom or Robin, you know, the tactician. Um, I think a potential other choice, we might see a retro character like a Takamaru or Mike Jones or something. And if there is any other third party character, this might be the best time to show them now. People are saying, oh, Pac-Man this, Pac-Man that. Might be Pac-Man. Might be Simon Belmont. Might be someone. If they have another third party character, this would be the perfect time to show them at this E3. They'll have a tournament. People will be able to play it on the stage. I mean, on the show floor. Um, people obviously can play it with the digital stuff at the Best Buys if you have, if you're lucky enough to have one by you. Um, and that's about it for Smash Brothers. We might see a few more stages. We might see a few more items. We'll have a trailer, obviously, which will show the newcomers. Um, like I said, probably Shell, Palatina, or Magnus from Medusa. Maybe a player and a newcomer, a retro character, third party character. Uh, veterans coming back. Probably this is the best time to show Falco or Wolf, to show probably Captain Falcon, to probably show Wario, um, Meta Knight, and like so that. So we're going to see a few veterans, we're going to see a couple newcomers. Um, with the trailer, we're going to see the new Zelda. Um, I guess I, um, anything Mario based, like there's a rumor that there's a Mario Party 10, I think that'd be cool, but if there's anything Mario based at this E3 that I personally would want to see, it's Paper Mario. Uh, not really Mario Party or any sports games, we just got Mario Kart, we did, we already have two mains, like, Mario games on the, on the, on the Wii U, so I think a 3D, 2D Mario game is not ready to come out just yet, because we already have two of them, and as for the 3DS, we have, like, two of them as well, and, so right now it's time for either we to get a Paper Mario or of course if the rumor is there's a new Mario Party coming out or a sports game like new Strikers or new, uh, what's the baseball and Sluggers, you know, stuff like that. So we're probably going to see an announcement for another Mario spin-off game. I don't think a mainline one, but I think the main titles we're seeing this, this year are going to be Zelda, potentially a Metroid, potentially Star Fox Red Zero, obviously Hyrule Warriors, Bayonetta 2, X, Shimmy uh, Alicantis Cross Player and stuff like that, and maybe a few more collaborations, like supposedly maybe the Pokemon Fighters, and obviously Pokemon on the 3DS. Um, as for third party announcements, I no clue. And, uh, and, and that's really about it. Like I said, we're going to see some stuff, we're going to see more stuff that we already have know is coming. We're going to see a lot of surprises, because supposedly this comp, this E3 is getting pushed to the moon and back by Nintendo, supposedly. So they have something, something in the way for us. Um, maybe they have a price drop, maybe they have on their bundle or something, I have no idea. Um, and with that, that third party uh, adapter thing to connect GameCube controllers for Smash Brothers, it may be a push for Nintendo. We might actually be seeing some GameCube virtual console games. Star Fox Assault, Star Fox Adventures, Zero GX, Wave Race, uh, Blue Storm, Timmy Avalanche, Shadow uh, Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Pikmin 1 and 2, you know, like a lot of stuff they could put on, on a GameCube virtual console that a lot of people would, would want. Eternal Darkness, stuff like that. Um, Geist, you know. So, we're going to see more probably on the potential use of being controller. We're going to see more games announced on top of stuff that we already know is coming, which they're going to push more of. We're going to see a lot. We're gonna, I think we're going to see a few surprise Nintendo franchises, maybe some third-party multiplayer and exclusives that Nintendo's hiding behind you know closed doors to show us. Um, I think this is going to be a fun E3, and I think this might be the best E3 Nintendo has had since about 2010. I hope you guys like my predictions and thoughts on E3. I'm sorry that they're so late. Hope you guys liked them. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. Have a nice day.